Hello fellow YouTubers, thanks for taking the time to check out my review. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the VersaCarry Guardian outside the waistband holster. The styling is going to be the Black Volt version and the sizing is going to be for the 6 hour P365 and the 6 hour P365XL, which is what I have and I'll be showing you fitment with that particular model. One of the key features that attracted me to this holster is this raised protective backing. And so after you fire a few rounds, your slide gets hot and you holster it, it won't burn you because you're gonna have this nice protective backing to protect you from that heat. And then on those hot summer days, the you'll be your gun will actually be protected from your sweat. So it'll prevent some of that transfer of the sweat from your body to the firearm. Now this back pleat, this backing piece that is be, gonna be closest to your body, it is gonna be a double ply vegetable tanned water buffalo leather. So it's gonna be two pieces of leather that are stitched to together with industrial grade bonded nylon thread. And as you can tell, it's nice and clean. There aren't any loose threads or anything like that. So I don't foresee it breaking down or getting loose with time. It's gonna be a nice solid holster. It is American made, which is always a plus on my, in my opinion, the, Belt loops are going to be sized for your standard one and a half inch belts. And as you can tell, it's not perfectly level, the slots, that is, the belt slots. And that's intentional because when you're wearing it, you're going to have this nice forward cant for an easier draw. My first impressions of this holster is that it seems very durable. It's nice and clean. It looks good. And although it's durable, it's also malleable. So I think it's gonna have an easy break-in period. And I think since it does seem to be quality leather, it's only gonna break in and conform and really hug your firearm in a nice and, and protected way. The leather is gonna get a nice patina with age. So as you wear it and as you get a little rough with it, it's gonna have some nice battle scars on it and it's gonna make it look good. So I do think that that's gonna be a plus with time. And then now for the fitment. So I do have to admit that I did reach out to VersaCarry before I even placed this order. And so I gotta give it to their customer service. It's been really great thus far. And honestly, I don't foresee it being an issue though. I don't think I would have to reach out to them because I think this is gonna give me many years of use. So I don't think I'd have to reach out to them any time. But if I did, I wouldn't be worried because they've been, they've been able to answer my questions promptly and provide feedback in a prompt manner. So, so I'm grateful for that. But anyway, so I did reach out to them because my particular firearm does have an aftermarket grip module. So I was worried about fitment and so I reached out to them and they requested a picture of my firearm so that way they can guarantee the fit. So once I did that, they responded promptly and they confirmed that it would fit. And so let me go ahead and show you that right now. So here's my firearm, you can tell it's clear. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the holster. So even though it has the aftermarket grip module, you can tell that it fits nice and snug. That protective backing is gonna go over the slide or above the slide. So it will protect from that heat and the sweat transfer. And then it is, the trigger guard is being covered. So they were in fact able to provide me with accurate information, it does fit. And so I gotta give it to them. Once again, this is the VersaCarry Guardian outside the waistband holster. Very impressed with it thus far. I think it's gonna give me many years of use. I will be giving an update in a couple of weeks in the comments, just to kind of let you know how it's broken in a little bit. As you can tell, once I holstered the firearm, it was nice and snug. Um, it wasn't going anywhere. But if the retention is too much for your liking, they do provide instructions on putting the firearm inside the holster and twisting it a little bit back and forth to give you a little more clearance. I'm choosing not to do that for now, although it was kind of a too snug for my liking. Um, I think just with time, it'll break in a little more and it'll get a little easier. But to the point where it'll be a nice hug without it being loose. And so I just wanna do it naturally with time. And yeah, this is the VersaCarry Guardian. Hope you found this review informative. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer if I have the answers. Thanks.